Hello. I've been expecting you. Well, I haven't, but I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a special one today because... Let me just get in a little closer here. <laughs> We finally hit 1,000 subscribers! Oh my god, I am so, so happy. You guys have no idea. It's been crazy. So thank you so much to everyone that subscribed and who, you know, if you subscribe because of this video, that's even more awesome. So I just want to thank you guys so much for everything that you've done and, and helping me hit this goal because it's just, it's one of those things that I've always wanted to do. And I know it's not a huge amount compared to some other YouTubers out there, but it, it made me feel really good, so. Thanks guys. <laughs> to celebrate, I decided to do a Q&A because I did put out like a little poll out there and asked people what would you like to see for me to celebrate this momentous occasion. You guys sent me some burning questions that ha obviously had to be answered. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started asking, asking, oh my goodness, I have not, I'm just, a, I'm gonna answer your questions. <laughs> if you could be quarantined with a character from a video game, who would it be and why? That is a good question. <laughs> but who would I want to be quarantined with? That's the thing. The thing is, I play a lot of horror games, so <laughs> probably wouldn't be a good idea to be quarantined no. with some of those people. Maybe like Clementine or something, because I mean, I know what obviously happens to Clementine eventually. To kind of have her at that teenage age, yeah, I think she's got an incredible story to tell and I would have loved to sit there and listen to that. And plus the fact that she's just totally badass, so we could go kill zombies together, that would be awesome. <laughs> what is a song you listen to regardless of your mood? Soundtrack from like Silent Hill or Resident Evil, I could listen to that any day. The, the, the Resident Evil soundtrack, I would happily listen to that like every single day if I could because it's, it's a good old soundtrack, that one. What game do you find yourself going back and playing the most? Definitely Dishonored. I love Dishonored. I love the story, I love the gameplay, I love everything about that game. I was trying to do it in different ways and, and collect different things and just explore sometimes. It was just, it's just a brilliant game. And then when the second one came out, I was super excited because I had more to do and there was two different characters that I could play as. I could I could play that over and over again. If someone said that the only game that you could ever play was Dishonored or Dishonored 2, I would be happy with that because they are they're awesome games. I really enjoy them. Next question no uh, Did you ever hear of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No. Should I have? <laughs> I need to Google it. Who is this? Darth Plagueis was a wise dark lord of the Sith who had such a knowledge over the dark side of the thought. The <laughs> okay, we're going to Wikipedia. Get it? The master of Darth Sidious. Dude, that's pretty cool. He acquired considerable knowledge of the Force but was ultimately betrayed and murdered by his own apprentice in accordance with the Rule of Two. That was really interesting. Thank you for that question. I like learning new things. What is the favorite part of your job? Well, the favorite part of my what culture job and like YouTube, even though YouTube really isn't my job at the moment, although I'd love it to be. So, you know, if you guys can help me out with that, that would be awesome. <laughs> Subscribe. What I love about my job is just doing what I love, talking to you guys, talking to people about different things and what they enjoy. And what I love about the what culture experience is that I get to create these really fun videos and I get to work with these awesome people and it makes me happy every day and I get to do stuff like this and I get to hit milestones that I've always wanted to hit so yeah thank you guys so much for that because a lot of what I do is because of you and um yeah thank you <laughs> don't get emotional who inspired you to start a youtube channel so story time <laughs> I have had many youtube channels and I have had youtube channel for a very long time. I used to make stupid videos and um, horror movies. That is what I used to do on my old channel and I probably will be uploading stuff onto my new channel because obviously this is the one that I use the most so that's why there is kind of an, an array of videos on this channel. You know there's like makeup and, and, and these sorts of videos and gameplay videos because I didn't see the point in just making a million different channels for things that I enjoy so what you will find on this channel is just stuff that makes me happy and that I enjoy so if there is bits of makeup and gameplay and movies and zombies and 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 a mishmash of things that don't really make sense that's just me <laughs> I don't really make sense as a human being <laughs> 
What's your most anticipated game? Oh, easy peasy. So, Resident Evil 3, the remake, of course. I played the game, uh, the demo for it recently. If you haven't seen that, check it out because it was really, really fun. I loved it. My little Resi nerd heart was going crazy. But also, The Wolf Among Us 2 because. Just, I love the stories, I love the art style, I love everything about the Telltale games, they are brilliant. And as soon as I heard about The Wolf Among Us 2, it was one of those games that I've been talking about for years, saying like, why haven't they made a new one, why is there not a new one? And boom, out of nowhere, Wolf Among Us 2 gets announced. So I'm super, super duper excited for, for The Wolf Among Us 2. What did you do in college? Good question. In college, which was many, many, many years ago, I did multimedia production and photography and it was really fun. It taught me not a lot. <laughs> if I could go back to college, I actually wish that I didn't do multimedia production. I kind of wish that I'd gone down more of the drama side and kind of done more acting and stuff because that's something that I also do enjoy and I would have been able to kind of maybe make more films with people that also enjoyed acting. There's only so many things that you can make with one person as an actor in it so it would have been nice to kind of have a collective of other people that also enjoyed acting and and um, I could have done that so yeah that's what I did in college. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> What is your favourite game of all time? Wow. Obviously I love Dishonored. Probably would say it would be a tie between Dishonored and Bioshock because the first Bioshock is incredible and the first Dishonored is amazing and yeah, I don't think I could choose between the two. It's definitely those two. Favourite horror movie character? Ah, I love horror movies. I can sit and watch horror movies just to kind of all day, like whether they're good or bad, I just enjoy them. They're just an enjoyable thing for me. But my favourite horror movie character has to be, without a doubt, Hannibal Lecter, because he is awesome. He's one of those characters that you can't help but love, and I do love him whether it is Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal or the incredibly handsome and super duper cool Mads Mikkelsen. You are a very handsome man, sir, <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> and that is end of part one. I've had to split this video into two parts because you guys asked me so many questions. So make sure you check out the next video to be uploaded because it will be part two of this Q&A series sort of thing that I'm doing here. But thank you so much to everyone who submitted their questions. I will try and answer as many of them as I can. But for now, I will bid thee farewell and I will see you in the next video. Bye!